thank you, Tatiana. Without you, it'd take me half a day to get there. Sure, don't even mention it. We're neighbors. You know I'll always help you. Ah, oh, you're so young. So sympathetic. <laughs> what a pity you haven't met my Nikita. Well, if you had moved into our house before his business trip, then... Tatiana, what a son I have. Not many of them left. <laughs> And you need to get married. Well, I guess in order to get married, you need to see each other at least once, it's true. Oh, you're so right. And he never comes here from America, so he's always just busy, 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 busy. I only see him on Skype. Tatiana, what if I introduce you to on Skype? Hmm? By God, I've never heard of getting married on Skype ever, but for your sake, I'm ready to meet him. Great. And here we are at your clinic. Here oh, we are. Here. It's here. We're here. Thank you very much. Come to my place tonight. I'll make some pancakes, all right? Thank you. Yes, hello? Is this Tatiana Ivanova? Yes, I'm listening. My name is Valerie Kresnova. You were recommended to me as the best private detective in town. I'm glad to hear that. I'm listening. I can't discuss this over the phone. Could you come to my place? The sooner, the better. Yes, okay. And where do I go? Number 14, Vozitska Street. All right, I got it. I'll be at your place in about an hour. Goodbye. Stay at home. Don't open up to anyone. To anyone, I said. You hear? Be silent, as if you're not there. I'll be back home soon, son. Don't be afraid. Above all, keep quiet. Yes, I'm listening. Hello, this is Tatiana Ivanova. Come here, if you would, please. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Has someone died here? My husband. But someone stole him last night. I'm sorry, but I must have misheard you. Stolen? They stole my husband's body. But why? No, I, what I meant to say was, uh, how and when did this happen? Have a seat, please. I wanted to say goodbye to my husband. I asked them to bring his body here so that he would spend his last night at home. I sat by the coffin till about midnight and then I went to bed. The next morning, when I went downstairs at eight o'clock, there was no Simon in the coffin. Did you report this to the police? No. They're not so good at looking for the living. Why bother them to look for a dead man? And you know, I don't really need all the talk and scandal. Then you go and turn right, and there... It's not... Hey, get your greasy fingers out of here. There, there's a two-story building abandoned. Okay, let's... I invite you to come in. Hello, officers. 
please get acquainted. Director Maria Pavlovna. Maria is an experienced investigator. We are very lucky to have her. She's here to fill Petrovich's position. What about Petrovich? Don't worry, he's all right. He just left of his own volition. May I present Captain Melnikov and Lieutenant Agayev? Pleased to meet you. The pleasure's mine. How did your husband die? The doctor said a heart attack. He died on the way to the hospital. The ambulance brought him straight to the morgue. Tell me something. How do you think the kidnappers were able to get into the house? In the morning, I discovered that the street door was open, but I... I honestly don't remember if I had closed it or not. And the locks? The locks were intact, but I changed them just in case. I called a locksmith right away. Mm -hmm. And who else lives here besides you and your husband? No one. Our son, Alyosha, got hit by a car seven years ago. He died. I'm sorry. Does anyone else have access to the house? My housekeeper, Olga. She's worked for us for three years. She lives not far from here. Madam Valerie, it's me, Olga. It's about time. Did you give anyone the keys to my house? No, why? Uh, hello. Tell me, where do you keep the keys? Mm hmm And is it possible that you left them unattended? No, not ever. Mm hmm In that case, there are no more questions for you, so thanks. Go on, Olga. Make us some tea. I'll have my usual. So what do you think? Who could do this and why? I'm suspicious of two people. First, Vika Ostashkina, a former mistress of Simon's. She had his daughter. But I always knew that he would never leave me. Our common business is built on my parents' money. And what is your business? Simon and I are co-owners of an ostrich farm. Were. Quite an unusual business for our area. I agree with that, but in good hands, a profitable one. Simon's an ornithologist, and I'm a biologist. Did you know that ostrich meat has 20 times less cholesterol than, for example, beef? One single ostrich egg can feed up to 20 people. As for fat, even Nefertiti used lipsticks and cream made from ostrich fat. Interesting. Who else could claim an inheritance from your husband? Only me. Simon, however, left some money in his will to take care of Lisa, Ostashkina's daughter. So you think that Vika could have reasons to kidnap Simon's body? What for? Because of the money. In order to blackmail me. She came to me. She begged me to walk out on Simon. I kicked her out. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Anyone else? Dmitri Uryupin. At one time, we had a common business. But after some mistakes that he had made, Simon proposed that we split up. Mm -hmm. We got a farm, and he got a restaurant, Sydney, which serves dishes from ostrich meat. But soon, the restaurant closed. Dimitri proved to be a terrible businessman. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently, he decided to take revenge. He chose his moment. But he could just rejoice in the death of his sworn enemy, and that's it. <laughs> It's not in his nature to merely rejoice. Dimitri is an ambitious, pathetic nobody with lofty ambitions. All right. I agree to take your case. I'll send you the contract this evening. Here's a retainer. I'm asking you, Tatiana, to investigate everything quickly and delicately so that neither the police nor the neighbors- I understand, no need to worry. May I? You wouldn't hurry up to save your life.
Hello. Oh, Andrew. I've got a kidnapped dead man. What a mess. Can you even imagine? A mysterious story. As for your client, how is her head? Seems okay to me. Yeah? Yeah. Have you heard about any necrophiliac maniacs lately, Andrew? Thank God I haven't. Mm-hmm. Could you look through the night and morning summary? Maybe someone found an unidentified corpse. Well, okay, I'll do it. And that's not all. Andrew, could you check out Vika, Ostashkina, and Dmitri Urupin? Like their addresses and places of work, everything you can find. Thank you. Tatiana, I'd only do it for you. Andrew, you're so sweet. Where was it? Oh, here. Mm hmm Take it. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me, Stepan, but, um... Yes? Who is that woman? That's Ivanova. She used to work with Melnikov. Unfortunately, she got downsized in the reforms. Hmm. Excuse me. Mm hmm So I see. Yes, honey. I think I'll be there around eight. Spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah, great. Hello? Hello. <laughs> Why are you so handsome? Here. I found the coordinates of Ostaskina and Uriopin, and there are some pictures mm. of them. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Here. <laughs> What's that for? Are you gonna let me in, or aren't you? Um, well, come in. Would you like to have some coffee? That's wonderful. It's crazy how time flies. By the way, today is exactly three years since we've known each other. No way. Yes. Exactly three years ago, you came to our department. Yes, yes, come in. Hello. I'm looking for Captain Melnikov. That's me. I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Tatiana Ivanova, and I'll be working in your department. That's cool. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm very glad. Oh! oh. <laughs> <sighs> nice to meet you, Andrew. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm Tatiana. A pity. Yes. <laughs> for luck. <laughs> Three years is enough time to get to know a person. And understand your feelings for him. Are you talking about me? About you and about me? Tatiana, I... I can't say beautiful words, but I thought it over and decided. In short, will you be my wife? Andrew, I appreciate that, but... I, I don't want to marry anyone right now, and... Uh, I'm just quite satisfied with my life and my work, and... I don't want to change anything. Uh, and that would be a completely different life. You understand? Yes. Of course I do. <clears throat> Who wants to change a good life for another? Listen, you take sugar as always, right? No. I don't need sugar. And I don't need coffee either. And I have to go. It's late. Mm -hmm. Volkov is holding a meeting tomorrow morning. I need to prepare.
Hello. What do you want, mister? <sighs> Give me a bottle of vodka. This one? Yes. Is there anything else you need? No, thank you. Although... Yes? Give me another. What kind of man are you anyway? Vodka's all you care about. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Seriously, what did I say to offend him? Andrew got all huffy. That's it. Our friendship's over. Strange are the ways of men. Very strange. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I forgot to turn off my phone. I'm disturbing you. That's okay. And who is this? My parents and you? Hmm. I have a favorite person. Lucky you. You can come to your lover's grave. I've lost mine. I had nowhere to go. Was he buried in another city? No, it's complicated. My daughter and I are all alone in the world now. Simon and I fell in love. I got pregnant and gave birth to Lisa. Was he... was he happy about the baby? Yes, very happy. He wanted to divorce his wife and marry me. But his wife said he'd be penniless because their business is in his wife's name. I don't know how she pressured him, but in the end he stayed with her. And I with Lisa. He cared for her, sent us gifts. Gave us money. I still love him a lot. I mean loved. How did you learn about his death? From a friend, her brother works at their farm. You know, I called Valerie. 
No, I was not going to the funeral. I realized that it wouldn't be very considerate to do that. I wanted to go there later alone. You know what she told me? She said that I would never know where his grave was. Do you think that's normal? No, of course not. I don't think so either. Could you stop here? I need a drugstore. Shall I wait for you? No, thank you. We're almost there anyway. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for giving me a lift and for hearing me out. Really, I even feel a little better now. Uh, Vika, tell me, did Simon leave anything to you in his will? I don't know. I haven't even thought about that. Well, you should check. You should find a lawyer, a notary. As I understand it, Simon was a generous person and he must have worried about such things. Besides, he loved Lisa. Yes, you know what? I'll find out. Thank you. Bye. Mm. Good night. Goodbye. In order to steal the body, one had to know that the widow was alone in the house and that she wouldn't spend all night by the coffin and that she wouldn't rush out and call the police after finding the body was missing. It was an inside job for sure. Did Valerie have any friends? Mm, as far as I know, she kept to herself after her son's death and spoke only with her husband. So it wasn't her lover then? Sveta, what are you thinking? What's that? All human beings have human feelings. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> idea. You're saying she's a housekeeper. Olga, quiet and modest, a single mother. Always the quiet ones, you know that. Who's more aware of all domestic affairs than a housekeeper, hmm? Hmm. Hello. Hello, Olga. Madame Valerie is waiting for you. Take your coat? Mm-hmm. Good morning, Valerie. Hello, Tatiana. Have a seat. I'm listening. I've spoken with Astashkina. I can imagine what she said about me. Nothing at all. We accidentally, on purpose, ran into each other and got to talking. She wasn't involved. 100%. Olga, clean this up and bring us some tea. So it was that scoundrel who reopened. Olga. What is the matter with you? You're such a clumsy woman. You should really get more rest. <sighs> Olga, are you going home? Yes. Get in, I'll give you a ride. No, thank you. What are you so afraid of? Get in. I won't bite you. You gave the keys to Uriupin. You see, if we don't find a corpse and don't learn what's going on, Krasnova will go to the police. And for you, it means complicity in a crime and jail. Do you understand that? Don't be afraid. Just tell me everything. Did Uriupin threaten you? Blackmail? Why did you agree? When Mr. Simon died, I was in the house until nine. And then Madame Valerie let me go.
Hello. Do you recognize me? Yes, you worked with Mr. Simon. Well done. Good memory. Trash of a man, huh? But still, one of God's creatures. Pity, when's the funeral? I don't know. Look, here's the thing. Give me the keys to the house. I need to pick something up. I'll pay you well for it. No, I can't. No way. Again, well done. You're honest. Are you sure that you can't do it? Let me help you out. Hello? Hello. Sunny? Where are you? Uncle Dima has stopped by. He bought me a churma set. One that you promised to get me. I've almost finished it already. When will you be coming? Soon, son. Are you sure you're feeling all right? Yeah, I'm playing. Uncle Dima said that he would come soon. I'm alone here now. Vitya. Yes? Ah, uh, this is Uncle Dima. How are you doing? Have you made heads or tails of it? I got heads, of course. <laughs> you having a good time? Yeah. Ah, uh, very well. Uh, me and your mom will come soon. And ice cream? You want some ice cream? <laughs> yes. Come on, Vidya, wait. And you said that you couldn't help me. Give me the keys. He brought the keys the next day before I went to work. I understand he made a duplicate, but that isn't all. He gave me a handful of sleeping pills to give to Madame Valerie that night to switch with her regular pills. Will they put me in jail? No, don't worry. But Uriupin is looking at a very long prison sentence. Andrew, good morning. How are you? Are you upset with me? Hmm. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Listen, Andrew. I know who stole the corpse, and I really need police assistance. This, according to Olga Stepanenko, who claims that you actually kidnapped her child in order to blackmail her. Nonsense. I don't know any Olga Stepanenko or her child. This is slander. But they know you. And the seller, from the toy shop, has also identified you. So this is enough to put you in jail. For five years. Five years? What do you mean? What for? I did no such thing. So why don't you tell us? What did you do? Why did you need the keys to the Krasnov's house? I wanted to pick up some papers. Simon and Valerie conned me when we split the business. They had something on me. You know, the sins of youth. And in the end, they threw me out like a stray dog and gave me that lousy restaurant. And you quickly went out of business. And by the way, you're broke now. Well, that's because I'm not a restaurateur. When I found out that Krasnov had died, I, I wanted compromising documents so that I could sue them for the way that they divided up the business. Well, I in, informed my lawyer. He said that it was a promising case. Why was it necessary for you to steal Krasnova's corpse? What? What are you saying? I never needed him when he was alive, let alone his corpse. And I was never in the house, ever at all. How's that? Olga said something completely different. Oh, yes, that part is true. I was going to. 
But then I, I met a friend of mine on the street. It was his birthday, and so I spent the, the whole night at the club. I was gonna come down yesterday. Then I was gonna do it today. Why should I hurry? So you spent the night in the club? You've got it going on, Uriopin. Yeah. A serious businessman. So what's the matter? So give me your friend's contact info, the one from the club. <clears throat> yes? Maria, may I come in? We better keep Uriopin in custody, because Stepanenko is afraid he'll retaliate. She has a child, and she's a single mother. Of course, leave him in there. This case looks clear. I'll bring it to trial quickly. Mm-hmm. And I see, Maria Polna, you're well settled here. An office of your own. <laughs> Easy to see. You're a valuable worker. Come on. By the way? Yes? I have an offer for you. Since we're going to work together, then maybe you can call me Maria. I think it'll be more convenient. Mm hmm. Whatever you say, um, Maria. I see we have an agreement. One more thing, um, I'm having a small celebration for my birthday at the Lada Cafe, and I'd like you to come, Andrew. Thank you, Maria. I'll definitely be there. Then it's agreed. Hello, Olga. Good evening. Everything's all right. Uriupin was arrested and already confessed to everything. He won't be bothering you again. Thank you, Miss Ivanova. I wish you the best. Goodbye. I checked Uriupin. His alibi's solid. It doesn't make sense. Then who was it? I don't know. Consider who from your inner circle could have done such a thing. Ugh, my head hurts. What a terrible day. So many troubles. Did something happen? I had a visitor. Ostashkina. With a lawyer. They asked about Simon's will. I sent them... to the notary. I don't want to see her happy face. Let her choke on that money. Forgive me, Valerie, that I interfered in your private affairs, but do you consider it unfair that Vika will get the money? Why should she get it? And I see you have a different opinion. To be honest, I do. Lisa is Simon's daughter. These are not my problems. Fair, unfair. He has a daughter, and I had a son. I lost a son, and I could never have another child. You think that's fair? It's heartbreaking. But the girl has nothing to do with it. I understand that. You've been through a lot. Six years ago, my father died while making an arrest. He was a police officer. He was shot protecting a hostage. My mother died soon after. She couldn't live without him. I was all alone with it. But the thought never occurred to me that the world owed me. Sit. Okay. 
So shall you and I have some coffee? And you know, I... I make a wonderful cup of coffee. Even better than Olga. It's true. I haven't made it in a long time. For myself, I'm too lazy. And Simon wasn't allowed to have it. Thank you, I would love to. I will definitely help you. Yes, Andrew, you're early today. Hello. I have some news for you. In the lake near the Krasnova's house, we found a man about 60 years old. His description is similar to your description of your missing stiff. Thank you. Where is he? With us. I mean, he's in the morgue. Excellent. Thanks, Andrew. I'm on my way. What do you say? It's still elementary. <laughs> Watson. <laughs> Yours? Ours. Mm-hmm. Well, then you need to call the family to identify the body. Is there any? There's a wife. Well, a widow. Uh, then there's one more thing. Something strange here. In short, someone cut him open again. Well, take a look for yourself. Uh. Oh, you should have seen it yourself. <sighs> All the chest and stomach are ripped. Awful. Mm. So the morgue guy said that the cut was made on top of the original autopsy cut. But he doesn't know what that means. Mm, yes, it's strange. I told you, it's a maniac. So the woman said. Well, you jinxed it. Okay, I have to open the case whether or not Mrs. Krasnova wants it. There are two counts on the face of it. There's theft and moral outrage. I'll go to Kondratieva. And I'll go to the hospital where they open Krasnova. Maybe they can explain it. Sasha, hello. I'll call you back. Sasha? Sasha. Shields, hold on. Will you slow down a little? We need to talk. Just a few minutes. Ivanova, last time I talked with you, I was stripped of my bonus for denigrating my own hospital. This isn't about the hospital. I need to know about the corpse. Did you do Crossnova's autopsy? I saw the signature. Well, okay, wait for me at the hospital exit exactly seven. Just stay in the car. That clear? So, and what do you want here, girl? Uh, nothing. Who let you in here? I'm leaving already. Well, then get going. Mm. Mind you, I will not say anything on the record. I don't have any voice recorder here. Just calm down. Well, I swear I don't. Ask me. Did you conduct the Krasnova autopsy? You mean Krasnov? The one with infarction? Well, yeah, I did. His myocardium was worn out, and so the second heart attack finished him off. Why? Has anyone inquired about him here? Where? In the morgue. 
No. Who could have been interested in him? Who needs the deceased except the relatives? So you didn't notice any fuss around the body of Simon Krasnova? Why are you so interested in this? <sighs> Listen, Sasha. I'm working as a private eye now. Oh. <laughs> well, yes. And Krasnova's widow has hired me. She has problems. Mm. And what are these problems? Well, there are some inheritance problems. Uh, okay, I see. Call if you need something. Okay, thank you, Sasha. Bye-bye. See you. I offer you my warmest congratulations, Colin. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, could you please take these flowers? And you, uh, owe me a fine toast. Proceed. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, if it's a toast, then everyone, please, here are your glasses. We are all gathered here at this table for the sake of this woman to congratulate her, to give her gifts, to give her flowers. But I want to say that she is more beautiful than all the flowers in the world, yes. <laughs> She's the biggest gift for us all, to you, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> Hoorah! To you. Hooray! 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 Hooray. 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 Thank you all Happy birthday, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. Happy birthday, Maria. <laughs> Happy birthday, Maria. Happy birthday. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting you to meet for so long. Step in even. Yes. This is Eugenia, an opera singer and my friend. Very pleased to meet you. I've told nice her to meet you. a lot of very nice things about you. Voss, hello. Voss, do you know where Andrew is? I call him and he's not picking up, and I really need him right now. What birthday party? Ah. And why didn't you go? <laughs> yes, that's a good reason. Mm hmm. Cafe Lada. Birthday girl's name is Maria Kondratieva. Thank you, Vas, so long. Andrew, will you slow dance with me? You wouldn't refuse the birthday girl. Of course not. <sighs> She's such a uh -huh. wonderful girl. Have you yes. known her long? I have. But Maria has told You've me. You've known her for a while. I imagined you differently. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you lead very well. Yes. Did you take dance lessons? No. And you? Well, I used to. Shields didn't tell me anything new, complained about his small salary, his hard life, but he's driving around in a fancy jeep. The morgue's always been a lucrative place. Yes, and a criminal one. Vasily, check out this pathologist. Try to learn more. All right, Chief. Can I go? Go on, run. What else? <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Where is he going so fast? He's going to meet his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Is she a good girl? Do you know her? And she's not just a girl. She's his bride. Her name is Helen. Mm. Tatiana, you should try out the apple. Mm. From mom, from our garden. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh-huh. Mm, looks good. It's yummy. Yes. How's your mom? She's doing okay. I just can't persuade her to come here. <clears throat> By the way, she wanted us to come over. Mm. Shall we? Yes, of course, but there's no time. Oh, it's time for Mrs. Krasnova. What for? 
We have something to discuss, but I'll come back or I'll call later. And by the way, your dance last night with Maria was just amazing. How do you know that? I had a dream. <laughs> Well, our contract is now fulfilled. You asked me to find your husband's body, and the body has been found. Yes, and now nothing will happen to it. I decided to cremate Simon, but I would still like to know who stole his body, and most important, why. Well, the police will handle it now. I know Captain Melnikov and his guys very well. They are real professionals and will surely answer all your questions. So you're walking away from me. What a pity. <laughs> it was also my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Tell me, is it possible to ask that you continue with the investigation? The police will have their investigation and you will have yours, is that possible? Well, why do you need that? Spending extra money. You understand, I... I really don't like strangers. Especially from the police. And I'm used to you. I trust you. With you, I feel comfortable. Hmm? Well, I don't know. You wouldn't deny a lonely, sick woman, hmm? <laughs> well, okay. I'll continue the investigation. <laughs> and you know what? Olga told me everything. I didn't force her to. So you fired her? That explains why I haven't seen her. No. I've forgiven her. And I even gave her a raise. <laughs> we had a nice... Heart to heart. She's a wonderful person. I would have done the same for my son. She will be back from the store soon, and we'll have some tea and some cake. Will you stay? <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> Alexander Anatolovich Shields. He was born in 1971, got a medical education, graduated in 1997. Mm -hmm. He was under a contract in a military hospital in the city of Kulyab. It's in Tajikistan. Mm -hmm. Uh, at present, he's living in Tarasov. Uh, he lives with his parents, single, no children. That's all? Mm-hmm. I'm back, as I promised. Oh, here's what we have on shields. Mm -hmm. Nothing interesting. I'll go to the inspector. Go on. <clears throat> Tatiana. Mm-hmm. If you happen to be free this evening, I'm inviting you to a restaurant. Why so suddenly? So what? You think I can invite a colleague to a restaurant? Mm, you can. Well, then I need to go home and make myself more presentable. Okay. When should I pick you up? No need to pick me up. I'll get there myself. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, Here. Tatiana. Oh, Here, thank I bought you. what you thank wanted. You, dear. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, where are you going? Looking <laughs> so beautiful, huh? A restaurant. I'll be home late. Oh, yes. And can you please come over and see Watson? He gets bored being alone. Mm hmm, of course. And who is the lucky man? It's Andrew. Oh, I get it. Well, usually if a man invites you to a restaurant, something's going on. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> well, have a good time. Thank you so much. Thank have fun. you. My pleasure. Hello. Tatiana. 
Hello. You... You are... What? No worse than Kondratieva? Even better. This way. What's the matter? Hmm? You have no appetite? I just can't seem to shake this crust nova. Who would need to steal the body of this ostrich man and then gut it like that? Well, I don't know. Maybe it was some ostrich protection society. <laughs> <laughs> to save those poor birds from becoming cutlets. Funny. <clears throat> Do you have any other versions? Vasily is developing a maniac lead. There's a candidate. Not from here, from the region. Mm. Oh, you know, I think that everything is much simpler here. Hmm? Andrew, what do you think about Shields? Well, he looks clean, he works in the morgue, uh, so... Listen, what kind of people are you? Your conversation makes me sick. Pathologist, corpse, morgue... You do realize where you are. <laughs> this is a restaurant, not a... I don't even know what. Leon, we're leaving now. Mm, yeah. Our conversations aren't for the faint-hearted. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Let's go. Excuse me? The check, please. Thank you. Tatiana. I've wanted to tell you for a while that... <clears throat> well, in general, I'll wait as long as you need, and... Andrew, come on. <gasps> oh, you're not alone. Oh, you know, my TV isn't working, so I decided to watch yours, and wow, I fell asleep all of a sudden. Uh, hello, Andrew. Oh, well, now, uh, how was your evening? It was good, thank you. You're a very light sleeper. Oh, it's because I'm not at home. I, I can sleep through anything at home. Uh, Shura, would you like to join us for a cup of tea? Oh, no, it's late. I should go. Uh, yeah? Maybe you better have some tea okay. without me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my bedtime already. Andrew, maybe... Really? Let's have some tea, huh? No, it's too late. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm off. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the evening. I am so sorry about last night. I didn't realize that you weren't alone. So did Andrew propose to you after an hour? Oh, I don't have time for proposals. I have such a difficult case that... Mm -hmm. Well, come on in. <laughs> Tatiana, darling, I'll tell you something. Drop all these cases. All these thieves, murderers. You can't catch them all. And you're not getting any younger. It's time to start a family. Andrew's a great guy. He doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. He's a hard worker. Just like my Nikita. <gasps> okay, I'll think about it. You should think yes. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Oh. <laughs> and here is Andrew. <laughs> Hello? Hello. I have news about your ostrich man. Come on over. Hello. Hello. Why are you standing? Sit down. Did you have your breakfast? Well, just coffee and a sandwich. Why? Well, it's just in case. So that you don't get sick from our stories. Oh, come on, guys. Don't drag it out. What have you found out? Remember I told you about that maniac that Vasily was tracking? So? Well, come on, Vasily. Come on. Tell us about it. His name is Yura. His mm -hmm. surname, Verushkin. Look. 
It turned out that he knew Mr. Krasnov. He had his own meat shop at the market. He bought meat from Simon. Then they quarreled and stopped working together. Yeah, well, that's not a reason to steal and uh, cut a corpse. Wait a minute. Varushkin, half a year ago, asked some orderlies to acquire unidentified corpses for him in good condition. It's good that they were normal guys and called us right away in general. We searched his place and it turned out that man was a taxidermist. He just got tired of animals and decided to stuff a man, well, so to speak, for personal interest. Does this psycho have a family? No, he lives alone. He was registered and forced to undergo a psychological examination. Hold on, and why exactly do you think it was him? In ancient times, it was considered cool to make the body of a murdered mm. enemy into a scarecrow to take his power. Why not? Maybe Varushkin's such a person. He stole Kravznov's body, began to cut it, got interrupted, and simply threw the body into the lake. Here, our forensic said that the body was cut by a pro. We weren't even able to do it. What are we waiting for? Skin. Open up! Police! Hit it. Ugh. Hey! Varushkin! Where do you think you're going, huh? Well, Varushkin, you're in too deep now. I have the right to a lawyer. You have the right to a private uh, room in the asylum. Lawyer. I don't care about your Krasnov. I forgot about him a long time ago. Yeah, an unpleasant person. A fraud. Sold me chicken meat and said it was ostrich. Thought I wouldn't figure it out. Then why did you try to get away from us? And even jumped off the balcony? I thought you were there about Honda. What about this Honda? Well, the neighbor's cat. It, its name is Honda. None of this makes sense. You know, I, I really liked it, and I, um, I, well, I just couldn't resist. Her coat is so smooth, her eyes are green and green. <laughs> Such a pretty little kitty, you know. If I take your meaning, Varushkin, you're saying that you stole a neighbor's cat in order to stuff it? Well, yeah, that's right. Tell me, what will you do to me for this, Mr. Policeman? So that's why you tried to run from us? Well, yeah. You, if I may say, caught me red-handed while I was working. You know, I, I made her better than she was in life. She was a jewel in my collection. I do not <laughs> care about your collection, you freaking pervert! Where were you on the 20th? From 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. So at home, I was working. Who can confirm this? Yeah, well, so nobody, you know, this is some kind of mistake. People are not really my specialty. Who turned to the morgue six months ago for the corpses? Uh, huh? Was it you? Here's a court order. You'll stay with us in isolation, in good company. There are just two. Cat burglars sitting here, violent, repeat offenders. Vasily, write him up. Yes, sir. Oh, it's good we decided to take the embankment. Fresh air. Fresh air is what we need after that monster. I want to forget him as soon as I can. Yeah. Do you think it was Verushkin? You know, I think he deserves a few days in a solitary confinement ward in any event. That's for sure. To kill the poor animals for his taxidermy, oof. Excuse us. Do you know how to skate? Well, yes, why? Can you teach me? Isn't it too late to start? <laughs> Listen, it's better late than never. How about this? Let's have the first lesson on Sunday. I'll agree, if you're not afraid. I'm not. <laughs> Andrew, tell me, you had business with the morgue recently? That's right. 
Uh-huh, okay, so... They were raided recently by our colleagues from Drug Enforcement. I don't know the details. Agapov, drop my name, and he'll tell you everything. Write it all down and report back to mm -hmm. me. 388. Hello, it's Captain Melnikov. Come on in. <sighs> Basha Vasiliev, Andrew Malenkov. Basha is in charge of this case. He can tell you more than I Thank can. Thank you for your help. Don't mention it, my pleasure. Give my best to Volkov. Mm -hmm. I'll go, I'll let you guys talk. Have a seat. <clears throat> Agapov said that you're interested in Dolce Vita. Dolce Vita? That's sweet life in Italian. Or heroin in drug jargon. The search in the morgue was because of this stuff. And when was that search? Could it have been on the 20th? Mm, yes, exactly right, on Monday. Excuse me, I need to make a call. Hello, Vasily. I need you to check what time Krasnov was taken from the morgue. Get back to me. Okay. Tell me, what was the reason for searching the morgue? A drug trafficking case from Central Asia. We got tactical information that customs officers had removed a dead old man from a train. While the man was alive, he served as a container for Dolce Vita. They carried it inside themselves, so it's more difficult to find. Mm. They use old men and women. And even kids, those bastards. Mm-hmm. During the search, the corpse was still in the morgue. Sorry to interrupt. Sure. And so, the man's corpse was sent to the morgue for an autopsy, and well, we followed. But why you? There were customs officers who accompanied the corpse. Who accompanied it? Excuse me, I'll just be a moment. Mm-hmm. According to our info, there are people in customs who are connected with drug dealers. Only a few people know about this. Agapov has vouched for you. You can be certain. I'm a vault. That's what I was told. So then, we got to the morgue to an unpleasant surprise. Comrade Senior Lieutenant, there's nothing. It's clean. I see. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. Well, look. That's to be expected. You shouldn't have done it, colleagues, really. Okay then, guys. No offense. This is our job. Why would there be any offense? We're doing the same job. What'd the old man die of? Let's see. Food poisoning. Must have eaten something. He's Asian. And his GI was no good at all. Well, what do you want me to do with the corpse? My respected commanders. It's your choice. We're not interested in empty corpses. <laughs> it turns out all roads lead to the morgue, if you'll pardon the pun. Two shields and his chief, Grindon. Run this Grindon for me. Who is he? What is he? Yes, sir. And I'll deal with shields. Mm -hmm. Comrade Captain, mm -hmm. these people say they have something urgent for you. Hello. Hello there, sir. Hello, I'm listening. We were told that you were on this, um... Uh, Varushkin. Varushkin, yes. Well, we are his neighbors. Is it true that he made a stuffed animal of our little Honda? Sadly, yes, he did. So, uh, when will he get out of here? I understand your feelings, but don't think of doing it. Don't? I would stuff him myself for my little Honda. Darling. Hey, it's normal, right? You want to get a shot at the scum, right? Don't do it. There is another option. Article 245, cruelty to animals, up to two years imprisonment. Yes? And what if he gets away with it? No, no, no. I'll nail him, I promise. The word of an officer. Thank you very much. Honda is like... 
family to us was. Come on, dear. I believe you. I'm sorry for taking up so much of your precious time. Goodbye. Hey, where are you going? Want to rent a parking spot? Uh, not right now. I need some information about a car. I don't get it. The usual story, you know, husband, wife, mistress. I need to check something. What exactly do you want to know? I'm interested in a Jeep, number 32, owner Sasha Shields. And was this car parked here on the night of Monday, Tuesday? Uh-huh. Well, I know that guy. He takes his car at half past eight every morning, and at 7 p.m. he puts it back. And what about that week? Ah. Uh, here, Monday, Tuesday night. Left sometime around 11.45 and arrived at 5.15 a.m. Here, see for yourself. It's all right mm -hmm. over here. Thanks for that. Just don't tell Shields anything about my visit. <laughs> of course I won't tell him anything. What am I? And excuse me, please, lady. Could you give me your card or phone number, huh? What for? You know, my wife has been acting very strange lately, and, uh, well... I just wanted to check on whether I'm a fool or paranoid. <laughs> oh, then, of course. Um, here's my business card. Always Thank at you. your service. Thank you. Article 217, Part 3. Here, you read it. How's it going? The night Krasnova was stolen, Shield's car wasn't parked in the lot. He got back at 5.15 a.m. Very good. But not enough to nail him. He'd say he was driving around all night. What do you have? Uh, Andrew, Volkov wants to see you right now. Yes? May I come in? Yes, come on in. My colleague here told hey, me that hey, you hello. tracked down the whole drug cartel with this stolen corpse. Where are we now? Well, we have several suspects. Most likely connected with drug dealers. Then what is it? Why don't you arrest them? Mm. There's not enough evidence. We may have problems with Maria. Don't worry about it. I'll deal with Maria. Guys, you're our only hope now. We checked our channels. No dice. After the search in the morgue, all our clients are quiet. They're all buttoned down. So now, Andrew, I give you permission to use any methods. Do you understand? I'll take care of everything. Got it, Comrade Lieutenant Colonel. Will that be all, sir? Yes. Well, what? They want some results. They say everything depends on us. But we can take extreme measures. Oh. While you were out, I've been thinking. We just need to search S.H.I.E.L.D.'s car. If the corpse was transported in it, then something could still be there. That's possible. Vess, hmm? get the warrant from Maria and check the car. No, if we do it out in the open and don't find anything, they'll go undercover so deep that we'll never be able to catch them. What do you suggest? I'll search Sasha's car myself, without any warrants. It fits with Stefan's instructions. Vass, what do you think? Well, Tatiana's right. If she does find something, we in good conscience take a warrant and get the evidence, and no one will ever know. I agree. But only on one condition. Well, I'm begging you nicely, Svetka. We guarantee your safety. I was racking my brain to find a way to get into that damn car. And I'm looking at you, and the picture is clear. Yeah? <laughs> a tough case, then. No, tell me, do I really make such an impression? No, no, not at all. But some makeup and your amazing acting skills, you'll work wonders. Come on, say yes. Hmm? Well, anything for my dearest friend. <laughs>
What's the problem, miss? <laughs> this is my car. Oh, it's so good that you came. You know, I just didn't know what to do. It's just so terrible. What's the matter? You know, I'm a newbie, and I wanted to park my car, but I can't. I'm stuck, neither here nor there. I'm afraid I'll scratch it. May I? Of course. I got this. <sighs> Thank you so much. <laughs> You're such a help. What would I have done without you? <laughs> You're welcome. Well, since I saved you, what if we celebrate this wonderful salvation with a light dinner? I don't even know. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another funny story for you, all right? Mm -hmm. Taken straight from life. Mm -hmm. A guy calls a sporting goods store from the morgue, all right? Could you tell me how many motorcycles you sold today? Well, 10, why? The fact is that my workday ends in five minutes, and two of them are still out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, please forgive me. I'm so clumsy. That's okay. They say the wine is dry. <laughs> Liars. Oh, well, it's dry. We'll figure it out. Thank, uh, thank you very you, much. Thank you, young man. Thanks. We'll yes. handle it from here. Yeah, we here. got it. Yes, That's go okay. on, go on. That's it's okay. Mm. Don't worry. Me. I'll be right I... back. <laughs> Yeah, it took a little bit longer than I thought. Well, it's okay. What if we get the check and go to my place, huh? I hope you won't refuse to help a poor bachelor wash an iron, will you now? Come on. Hey, man, leave the girl alone. What does this moron want from you? Hey, man, can't you see that you're bothering us? All right, listen to me, man. You're going to take your stuff and get out of here right now, understand? I'll kick your ass. Keep calm, breathe. See that guy? Understand me, yeah? Screw um, you. Uh, what have you done now? What have I done? I think I've saved you from some trouble. Don't worry about the money. I'll pay for everything. Thanks, Mr. Rockefeller. Where am I? What for? I'm on my way home. What's so urgent? Okay, okay. I'll be right there. I think I'm being watched. And you think it's not risky here? Huh? What if they show up with the search warrant? Grindon again? ordered this. <laughs> Said it's safer to keep it at your fingertips. <laughs> okay, keep cool. <laughs> Dr. House. <laughs> hey, don't call me that, okay? Sure. <laughs> Hey, 
there, take it. Freeze where you are! Huh? Don't move! Huh? Hold the huh? bag! Huh? Hands on the hood! Hands on the hood, like I said! Huh? Huh? <sighs> Rush and Dolce Vita. <sighs> when did you get into this drug business? In this matter, well, with the drugs? Grindin recruited me a long time ago in Tajikistan. I needed money badly, and he helped me. Then I resigned and came here to Tarasov. <sighs> Got a job at the morgue. Got married. And a year later, Grindin found me. Well, what's up, platoon mate? I decided to settle down here. I like your town. What do you think? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Do you have a place to live, to work? I just wanted to crash at your place for a couple of days. Do you mind? Of course, no problem. Just until I find a nice place to rent. Thank God I have the money. And if everything goes smoothly, then I'll buy a place in a year or so. You know, fingers crossed, that is. When he came to me and talked about the apartment and money, I knew what he wanted to do and why he had come to me. Grindon was suspected of the theft of narcotic drugs, but there was no evidence. And so Grindon left on his own. He tried to deal drugs in his own town, ran into competitors. They say he barely made it out. So he remembered his fellow soldier. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, hey, I'm stop sorry. That. Uh, stop that. Excuse me. Stop. Where do uh, you think you're going? Just get get take lost. A look at this lick guy. you, cow. Get, get your up. hands get off of up. me. Hey. Cow. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. Cow. I'll uh, give you a cow. Uh, That's the way you uh, need to be treated. Sasha. Why didn't you even try to say no? Why do you think that? I told him that I didn't want to and wouldn't do it. And he said that I either work for him or he hands me over to the police for what I did. In six months, my boss retired and Grindon became the head of our morgue, not without my help. <laughs> he became my boss again. When did you start selling narcotics? Three months after the day he arrived. Mm -hmm. He came to me and said it was ready, but he needed a man at customs. Then I remembered about Gina Tonin. We went to school together. I introduced them. They hit it off right away and everything took off. My job was, was to meet the mules. That is, the drug couriers. We met in a rented apartment. I transferred the goods to Shields. He took it to the morgue. They used it like a kind of a warehouse. In the morgue, he packaged the goods and transported them to major drug dealers. Grindon was in charge. He controlled it all. Tell us what happened on the 20th. How'd the corpse of an narcotic courier end up at your place? Tonin called me in the morning, really psyched up, and said that the mule had died on the way. They're going to open him. We'd lose our cargo, but the main thing was that we exposed ourselves and our friends for Amasia. He agreed that they would open him in our morgue, mm -hmm. and he volunteered to accompany the mule. Uh, search, drug control, you have three minutes. I'll hold them off. Do something, do anything. Who's that there? A heart attack sufferer. Police, Police everybody, everybody stay, stay where, where you are. are. Federal Drug Enforcement Services, here's a search warrant. That's why they didn't find anything then. While they were in Tonin's office, the guys from the mortuary arrived and took the body. So we didn't have time to get the heroin. Why did you take the whole body with you if you could get the drugs right in the house? And what if the wife had woken up? How did you know that Krasnova lives alone? We called the mortuary. Grindon has people everywhere. They gave us 
checked the address and told us that the widow was the only relative he had. And the keys? We were lucky. The door was unlocked. That night, at about three, we arrived at Krasnov's house. Why did you throw the corpse in the lake? We were rushing. We wanted to do everything quickly and return the body. I had the tools with me. We moved into the nearby woods. But as luck would have it, the car got stuck in the snow. Then we had to dig it out. Time. So we threw the corpse into the ice hole. Good thing there was a lake there. May I? <laughs> yes, come on in. This is for you, from all of us. For invaluable, so to speak, participation in nabbing a drug dealing gang. Mm. Thank you, Andrew. You see how helpful I am? And you don't believe in me. What, me? It's mm. not me, it's Volkov. And by the way, although it was through his teeth, he thanked you. This is Tatiana Ivanova. Oh, Olga, hello. Hello, Tatiana. Well, how are you? Everything's all right. <laughs> Does Valerie treat you well? Oh, yes. We've almost become friends with her. Oh. Imagine, she even raised my salary. I don't even feel right taking it. <laughs> Such a wonderful person. I'm very glad that everything worked out so well. Well, good luck, Olga. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. See you. You look very nice in that suit, Valerie. Thank you. Oh well. It's been nine days since Simon's death. Here, I got this. The main thing is not how, but the memory, yes? Yes, you're absolutely right. The main thing is that they are here. Well now. The case is closed? Yes. It turned out that the pathologist, Shields, hid drugs inside the body during the autopsy. And that's why the body was stolen. To get them out. It's incomprehensible. Thanks to your husband, we tracked down a whole gang of drug dealers. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Yes? Good afternoon. Are you ready? Well, do you remember the way? That's good. I'm waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Do you know who's coming? Vika Oshteshkina with Lisa. She's a wonderful girl. Can you imagine? She looks exactly like Simon. <laughs> <laughs> After our conversation, Tatiana, I thought about it. You're right. You can't measure misfortunes and look at everything through the lens of grief. Ostashkina is a normal woman. It just so happened that we both fell in love with Simon. And he left us Lisa. Both of us. Well, you're just an amazing woman, Valerie. Thanks very much. <laughs> 